my channel and happy October. This is my favorite month of the year. I live in the Midwest, so I like the chilly mornings, sweater weather, being able to wear like scarves every day. So this is like my month. A few weeks ago, I did a video talking about how I tripled my YouTube income and grew my channel over the course of six weeks. That video, along with a few of my clients, has generated a bunch of questions. The number one question being, how do you tag your videos? How do you properly tag and know, you know what people are searching for, how they're typing it in to ensure that your video shows up in search? I feel like a lot of the times we focus so much on the titles and the thumbnails because those are the aesthetics, those are the things people see, but the tags are how YouTube categorizes your video so when it's been up for several months or maybe even a few years, people can still find it if your video answers a question they have that they have typed in search. I was on Skype with one of my clients and she said, and I quote, tags are to YouTube what hashtags are to Instagram. And that could not have been said better and I told her I was going to put it in this video but without any further ado here are my top three ways to properly tag your videos to get optimal views show up higher in search and just overall have a better performing video the first one I would recommend to you is Google AdWords you can go into Google AdWords and type in the topic of the video or the title that you think you're going to name it. And then from there, Google AdWords will spit out to you what people have been searching. For example, if I have a video on how to knit a scarf and I type in how to knit a scarf into AdWords, it'll show me all different kinds of ways that people have searched it. How to knit a scarf, knitting a scarf for beginners. And those are things I know will have a better chance of me showing up in search if I include these in my tags. Number two is personally my favorite way to find tags for my videos. You go to youtube.com, shocker, you type in the search bar what you're making a video on. And then notice as you're typing it in that YouTube takes guesses of what you're going to type in below the search bar. It guesses. So again, if I'm typing in how to for how to knit a scarf, I bet you before I even finish typing in how to, there's at least 20 different suggestions of what other people have been searching. Google knows how to optimize other people's past performances on their website. So if I type in how to knit a scarf, I bet you there will be several different ways somebody has typed in that sentence looking for the answer. Whether it be how to knit a scarf for beginners, like we said before, how to knit a blue scarf because people think that way sometimes, how to knit, like, how to knit different kinds of scarves, different patterns, different designs, different stitches, It'll, it will all be there and chances are the most searched sentences will be in the drop down box of the YouTube search bar. And the third way I tag my videos is using a website I have used since the beginning of my YouTube channel. It is called Rapid Tags. You go to Rapid Tags, you type in the subject that you're going to make a video on and then from there it gives you approximately 500 characters, which ironically is all you're allowed to have in the tag box on your video, of different suggestions on what to include in your tags. This website has come in handy so much since I started my channel and knew nothing about tags. I at least knew that when I typed in the title of my video, I was going to see the suggested tags that were being used. And it's actually a lot easier to use than Google AdWords. Google AdWords, you have to just kind of get accustomed to their layout, rapid tags, you just type it in, press submit, and there they are, 500 characters of the top most searched inquiries about the title or topic of your video. I am going to get in the habit of doing more tech or channel growth videos here. If you have any questions on something specific to how to grow your channel, leave it down below in the description box. Several of the clients I work with ask these kind of questions, so I figure if they have them, 
I can answer them here for you as well. And if you are a content creator looking to have some sort of a one-on-one -on -one consultation or join support groups that meet on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, my contact information is listed down below as well as my weekly emails that I send out. Those weekly emails will always have some sort of a tip or a way to improve your channel in some capacity each and every week. So if that's something that interests you, all that information is included down below in the description box. But that is it for today's video on how to properly tag your YouTube videos so they show up higher in search and just perform as a better video overall. If you're watching this video unsubscribed, go ahead and click that little subscription button down below. If you like these kind of tech talk videos, give this one a thumbs up. And once again, leave any questions you have down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy October. This month we'll be having videos coming out every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So check back on those days. And until then, I will see you in another video. Bye.